Hi guys, this time I'm going to show you how you can save and load data from your own Android application into TXT files. I've just created a new project which I call Tutorial and I used Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich and a blank activity. After it's initialized there's one important thing you have to do to give your application the rights to read and write on your SD card. So you have to click on manifests and put in these two lines. I'll put all my code into a txt file in the description. Then we go to the main xml file and insert two buttons, an edit text and a text view. I call the first button save and the second one load as well as the id of them. Then we have to edit the onclick method of both and I switch that to button save and button load. Afterwards we are gonna code the main java file. First of course you have to implement the elements you set up in the xml file. Then I define myself a string variable called path containing the string value of the path where my txt file will be stored to. In the onCreate method you need to connect your java elements you've set up before to your xml elements. And right now the actual part starts. Now I'm gonna create a file called deer located at the string value of my path. And with deer.mkdeers I'm creating all the folders which need to be created for this file. Then I set up the first onclick method for the save button. Guess you know that you have to put in that view in the parameters. Now I'm gonna create a file called file located at my given path and I call it savedfile.txt. Then I set up a string array called save text and read in the text from the edit text but every time a line separator appears, I switch to the next array field. So let's just delete the text in the edit text and create a toast as a feedback. Now I want to save all the data in the array with a method called save. I'm gonna implement that in one minute. But first I create the button load method also with that view. There I create a file also called file. And its path needs to be of course the same as the one on top. Then I set up again a string array this time called load text and I want to fill that file with the method load. So now I'm gonna put in my code for the method save and load. I put that all into a txt file you will find in the description. The only thing you need to do is to implement all the classes by hitting the ALT key and enter, of course, if you use Android Studio. So now back to our button load method. I'm gonna set up a string called final string which equals an empty string. But then I put in all the data from the array and separate all the lines by a line separator. Then we only have to set the text of the text view to that final string. And yeah, that's it finally. To show you that this works, I'm gonna debug that first on my emulator on my PC. So let us put in 1, 2, 3, 4 and hit save. And uh, you can see the toast below. After hitting load, the text view becomes 1, 2, 3, 4. And also a string over more than one line works, as you can see here. Well, let's have a short look on my mobile phone. I'm gonna install that small app and you can see you need to allow the application to access your SD card. When it's installed I'm gonna do exactly the same inputs as right before. And when we go out into our file explorer we can see a folder called AA tutorial which we have created with the deer.mkdeers in the beginning. Of course it includes our saved file.txt with the last input. So far now that's actually how to save data in an elegant way from your own Android application. If you enjoyed it, just like this video and I'm over and out now. See ya!